Today, we're doing everybody's favorite again. We're doing a Torrid haul because I love Torrid. And they just got some new stuff in and I'm curious. So let's get into it. So this first dress, I wouldn't normally get, but it's got like a European vibe to it and I am headed to Europe in a couple weeks. Yes, I know I just went to Finland. I did not plan to go to Finland, guys. This trip has been planned for literally since the beginning of the year. But I thought this might be pretty in Spain and I like the like floralness to it. So it's a little bit different for me, but I actually think this is going to look fantastic. Fan fantastic. <laughs> Why can't I say that word today? It's also, I feel like, going to look super luxurious and rich, which I like. <laughs> I think this is a really pretty dress, but I think I need to size up. Um, I need a little bit more room in my hips. I feel like the pockets are pulling. So while it's really cute, this one doesn't work for me. And I just need a bigger size, which is fine. I think this is linen, but it's linen that doesn't feel like crap. So I'm very excited about it. Also, it's yellow and I love yellow. And I thought this would be like the perfect set for like sightseeing or like a casual day where I just want it to be very, very comfortable, but also look like boss. Okay, I'm very frustrated instantly with this. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the yellow in this top is like three shades lighter than the yellow in the pants. Like they don't match at all. And I'm bummed because this would be like the perfect look, but this looks washed out. Like someone's washed it like 85 times. And this looks bold and bright. And I like the bold and bright because that is who I am. And it also makes me mad because it's so soft. Like this would be so comfy to like be in. And I want, I want this to work. Mm. But this is my biggest issue is like when they don't pay attention to dye batches and making sure that things match. Obviously you'd buy this as a set and you'd never want it if the colors were off like this. Because if you're like me, a person who's really sensitive to color, you would never be able to unsee it and it would haunt you forever. Yeah. Maybe I'll keep the pants and wear them with something else, but I am kind of annoyed about this, but not in love with it enough to try ordering the shirt again to see if I get closer to it. Cause I feel like that could just be an endless pursuit of the, of the impossible glory. Okay. Um, I'm bummed about the shirt because the pants are dope and I wish the shirt matched it. The ghosts. Anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty certain I'm going to keep the pants and just return the shirt and I'll just wear it with like a white tee or a white tank or something. I'll make it work. This is another set because I like pants for touring because chafing and just ease and like skirts blow up and you know, I'll just like pants sometimes. And I think pants are an underrated summer outfit thing if you can find them long and light and that's the, the two ways i like to do it long light and like wide leg so i thought this was kind of a cool print again i don't know if i love it i need to see it on it has this smocked band now i personally don't like smocked bands and the reason i don't like them is because i prefer a drawstring because i feel like it holds my pants up better this i feel like if i put stuff in my pockets it might start to pull my pants down <laughs> which i only want a delicious man doing that not my phone um anyway nobody's pulling my pants down don't worry she's she's a saint anyway with it matching cami that's all i did as i felt like Love the color on colorness of it all. Throw it with a little, you know, brown bag and a belt. Good to go. Comfortable. So hopefully this will work because we obviously know that the yellow set is not going to work. It does not pass my match test. So I think this is cute, but it's just not my vibe personally. I think if you love Western style, this would be so cute with like a cowboy hat and maybe like a denim jacket and some booties. It's just I don't think it's my style, which is fine. It's still really cute. This color, man, I don't know if I like it or I hate it. I, I'm, it's growing on me, but it's like a purpley brown. And it does have these cute little beads here on the straps. Obviously they're adjustable. There is no smocking in the back. So just know if you're larger chested, this might, might be an issue, but I do feel like the fabric has a little bit of stretch to it. I like the ruffle. It's very lightweight. It's like a cheesecloth fabric, but like a little bit nicer cheesecloth. And it does have like stretching here at the waist. So it is gonna, kind of cinch in. Uh, I don't know if I'm sold on this one. I have to try it on and see how it looks. Maybe it's going to look fantastic and I will eat my words and be like, wow, this brown purple color is the best thing I've ever seen. But right now it's just giving me poop vibes. And you know, I want to be the shit, not look like shit. 
I was definitely being a party pooper. <laughs> Get it? Because uh, this dress is actually soups cute. This is the most Texas look in this entire haul. We've got some shorts. They're not that short. They're like shortish. This is probably my preferred length for a short. I love some like Daisy Dukes if I'm going to the pool, right? Because my thighs are going to be out anyway. I might as well like have them pull on out. But these are a little bit longer. They're going to give me enough coverage here at the thigh for chafing. Also will help them stay down. I like the destruction on these and that the destruction is backed by a patch so it's not going to pull apart. With it, I've got this adorable little puff sleeve eyelet crop top. This is like how I love to dress. I love a good crop top. Um, I just do. <laughs> There's no reason for it. It's smocked, so bra is optional, which I also love. And I think this is a cute little look. Okay, the shorts, I don't love the way they fit me. They're a little tight on the thigh. And I know that when I sit down, they're just not going to be as comfortable as I want them to be. And they have some gaping in the back. So they're just not the right cut for me. But the top, obsessed. Literally obsessed. I'm keeping this for sure. <laughs> this this dress like screams summer to me. So it's like that linen-y fabric that's like part linen that Tori had. Like the same that the yellow set is made of. It's got fun little flowers all over it. Like I really love this print. I did not love this print when I purchased it. It was like a maybe for me. But now that I'm seeing it up close, it is so cute. I love the little surprise pops of yellow. I think that'd be so fun to play with accents. And I love the buttons down the front. And I love that they're faux, so it's not going to pull apart. Like it's part of the look, but it's not going to put your lady parts at risk. The top is again smocked, which we also love and adjustable. Honestly, this one's a win for me. And the pockets on the front are so cute. Like I love these like, little patchwork pockets. Like... Oh, this one's adorable. This one feels very um, like it could be a Europe potential as well. Because I feel like it has that like carefree, like French woman on vacation vibe. Even though I'm not going to France, apparently that's the vibe I'm channeling. Oh, well. I love this dress. It's so happy. This outfit was purchased for high school, Anna. This was not purchased for me. This was purchased for my past. I know that. It's fine. So this is a little mini skirt. I just think it's cute. I wanted a skirt like this from Old Navy when I was, I want to say 16 or 17 years old. It did not come in my size because they did not have plus or at least plus in stores at that time. And so I bought that for me. And then with it, also at that time, were wrap sweaters. Now, I don't know if anybody remembers these, but they're just a wraparound sweater. And I was like, I'm glad these are coming back because I think they are stupid cute. This whole look, like 16, 17 year old me would have been like, bam but no we didn't have these options then and honestly back then I made a lot of my own clothes out of stuff I got in thrift stores or like upcycled stuff because it was kind of grim it was pretty grim back then and yeah fun fact I used to sew a lot of my own clothing and they were pretty good like I feel like I could bust out a pretty cute dress now I just don't have the time and I'm type a right so if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it right which means it's gonna take me forever I'm gonna be real with you this just does not fit me right. Uh, I don't hate the top. I think the top makes my boobs look amazing. But this is just, it's pulling. It's like the line is right at my widest part of my hips. I don't trust it. <laughs> it's, it's just a no for me, dog. It's just a no for me. This is my favorite of this entire haul. It is unlike anything I've worn before, but I'm obsessed with it. So I'm prefacing that before you guys write your comments down below. I don't care if you like, don't like it because I love it. I just think the combo is so good. It is a stripe cinch cami, super duper cute. I love this beige and like burgundy stripe. Never thought I would say that sentence out of my mouth because beige and burgundy, two colors I don't wear that often. And then we have this teal skirt with a floral print, which like could read old ladyish, and I get that. I like I hear you if you're saying that, but when you pair it with this top, it's just like the perfect like bohemian girl who does not give a crap. Like, this is the girl in high school that, like, wore chokers and, like, dated, like, 14 different people and was, like, the feminist we all needed in our lives. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about, but in my mind, I have a very strong mental picture. And I'm trying not to specifically describe her because this is a very real person that's in my head that I'm thinking of that I wanted to be when I was a kid. But she would have worn this and she was super cool. And she was also nice to me. So shout out to that girl whose name I will not say because awkward. But she was nice to me while also being cool. And I thought, 
Like, that's who I want to be. The girl who is super duper cool, but also still nice to everyone. Sometimes what I see in my head doesn't, like, end up what I get on my body. I feel like the tank's a little bit too long for this skirt. I still like both the pieces, but together they just, they don't really work. They don't really work. And that's okay. We all make mistakes. I'm still processing my trauma, okay? So yeah, guys, that is everything I got in this tour haul. Honestly, oh, 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 I forgot about two very important things in this haul. Shoes. I forgot about the shoes. How did I forget about the shoes? One sec. This is our first pair of shoes. Those are dope, right? They're, they are loafers. They are espadrilles. And I know that they've got a thick, cushy sole. Um, I'll try these on and you'll see me wearing these with all the stuff I'm trying on. With all of it? No, none of this matches. This doesn't match anything in this haul, guys. I will try these on for you, but uh, they will not be tried on with clothing because it doesn't match. The shoes I am trying everything on with do actually come from Tord as well, so we'll link those. I love them. I love these, but these are not the shoes I'm excited about. These are okay, right? Let me show you the ones I am excited about, and if they don't work, I am going to cry sad, sad tears, but if they do work, I will be obnoxiously wearing them. So just be prepared for that. You're either gonna see them all the time or you're gonna see me cry, one of the two. I mean, they're white cowboy boots. And yes, I know this trend is almost gone and I don't care because I've wanted a pair of cool cowboy boots forever. And I figure if the white cowboy boot trend dies, which it might in a little while, uh, I will just paint these. They're white so I can literally do whatever I want with them. I'm just excited that they're probably gonna finally fit my calf. Uh, I've had issues with my calves being a little bit too big because of my lipedema and being a chunky monkey. So I'm finally at a point where I think these will actually fit my calf. And if they do, I'm going to be obnoxiously wearing them the rest of the summer. These boots are made for walking, but that's not what they're going to do because my big calf does not fit in them. I, I didn't need you anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. week what, what? Just have a great day. Links to everything are down below. I'll check you later. And what am I gonna say? You guys know it, wait for it. Wait for it, it's coming, it's coming. Peace.